All right, we're back. I'm having so much fun. I hope you're having fun too. I mean, this is getting really exciting because I just, I feel like, I, I mean, I'm trying to give you so much value. I want you to, to be watching these going, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And I, I really hope it's sinking in how easy flower arranging, arranging can be. A lot of it's just mental and just calming down and just enjoying flowers but there are these little tricks and that's what's so cool is now you have these tricks in your tool belt and you can go out there and you can make arrangements okay so now it's time to start putting flowers in a vase so we've got our green right here right yay all the different textures and things the first thing i'm going to do is insert a hydrangea remember how i said i love hydrangeas and then just as a side note before we even go there i just want to say um, that's one of the things I love about this face is that I can put a low hydrangea in here, you know, take, and I can, again, I'm going to cut it just like I need to. And so you don't have to have it flopping over the edges. You just have it real cute and just tucked in. And see, that's so sweet. I love that. So just keep in mind that even if the bowl is in the perfect shape and it's, your, it's more of an advanced thing we can learn to work with it and you're going to get there okay so we're going to put a um, hydrangea in here to start with and why are we doing that okay i like to start once i get my granary in there with a focal flower so i like to put something that is down at the base and it's really going to um what i call almost weight the arrangement because you know a lot of a lot of it is on balance right don't have all this stuff up here in a little vase. Don't have it halfway, I don't know, who knows. But if you put a big flower down at the base, then we can go as crazy as we want. And we've got that, um, that weight down at the bottom. So it's visually, we're, we're weighted, and we're also we've covered the line of our vase. We're good to go. Okay, so next, ooh, I gotta get this kind of water. Okay, so next I'm going to put, I wanna give him more of a focal point. So I'm gonna use this beautiful Gerber daisy. And he's going to just sit nicely on our hydrangea. Love it. Okay. Then I'm going to, remember we're looking at all of our different flowers so we're not staying with all flat flowers. I'm going to actually use these cute little tendrils separate. So don't think you have all this little stuff. We're not gonna throw it away. We're gonna add these. These are so important. I mean, they really add to your arrangement. Okay, so I'm going to, get hold my stem up. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just adding flowers here or there. I never add, except for the focal point. Focal point, you add one flower. The rest of the flowers you wanna add more than one, but not, a, a, really it's just important that I don't just add one, um, one, fl one flower of anything. So I'm gonna add a couple, and I'm not gonna get bunny ears, right? We're not gonna put it the same height. We're gonna go a little bit taller or a little bit shorter. So I'm adding a mixture of flowers and staying with all one type of flower. So we've got our line, we just did a focal flat flower and a pillow flower. Now we're doing, now I'm going to add some fun tall line flowers and I'm doing them all at a little bit different height, see? And I'm also not putting them all in one same row. So when you add a flower, if you go a little forward with one, then go a little back with one, and then go a little to the side. So we're just kind of, you know, like people, we're just kind of putting things all in different areas. <laughs> okay, so we've got some fun tall stuff. We have a large low focal point. Now let's kind of add something in the middle. Let's do some middle stuff. Okay, so that would be our little spray rose here. So we're gonna add him over here to the side. Um, in this case, our roses aren't going to be necessarily a focal point because one is because of the color. It's a bit lighter color, and so it's not a focal, but it also, it's just going to give us some more weight in our arrangement. Maybe, like I said, we're, sometimes you just, you don't want to do just one of something, so I could put that guy up here. Like the way, you kind of have to twist it in and out, and you'll, it's real fun. And I would definitely... It's really important too when you're making an arrangement to time yourself or to have a sense of urgency because if you spend, like I've done workshops and um, the people that have the most fun and have the, the most loosely, loose feeling arrangement looks like, it looks the most beautiful, they don't get too caught up on every little flower. 
And it's what's so great is when you put one flower in, if it doesn't feel right, all you have to do is add another flower and that'll give it balance. So maybe we don't like where that rose is, but if we add another little flower, you know, towards the back, that's going to make it look good. So you just really, it's kind of, every flower is a step towards greatness and you don't have to worry about it being perfect because it, the flower you put in, it may not be in the perfect space, but as you add another flower and another flower, it's just gonna make it more and more perfect. Now, remember I talked about color and depth. Look at this. So we're gonna put this coming out of here and this with that dark purpley red, it's just gonna, ooh, gonna give it so much depth. Just adds one more element, love it. It's, I need a mirror right there so I can see my arrangement. But see what we're doing? We're getting, and also, this is more um, of a front side arrangement, but I can look at it from all sides and see that it's beautiful. So even if you do have a front side arrangement, you want to make sure it looks beautiful from all sides. The Solidago, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to cut it in segments. So your wildflowers, you're using lots of little pieces out of one flower. Now remember, you want to strip the greenery and you also want to make sure it gets completely in water. I'm going to tuck him in there. And then I'm going to tuck him in on the other side. So do you see how I'm having fun? I'm always putting more than one um, flower of one variety. Like I'm doing two or three roses. I'm doing two or three um, larkspur, which is the tall one. Um, I'm going to put, I only had one Bells of Ireland, but if I put this, uh, snapdragon next to it. That's going to kind of give it a, a twosie look. Now, I know you know you've heard three is a rule of thumb and that does work, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can get that rule of three by using colors. Now I get to have a lot of fun with little pieces. And as I insert these pieces, we're going to remember that we're using every little bit and these little guys are going to give us a lot of in and out of the arrangement so it doesn't look like it's all on one plane. Okay, well we're gonna continue with this on the next video, so remember, different textures use more than one of one flower. Okay, good job, thank you.